How's it going, folks? It is Matt back with another crypto video. Hope you all had a great weekend. And as always, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, like it, share it, leave a comment, and let's get right to it. So this first tweet from Jared Tate. Jared is saying that he just sent his very first dandelion transaction live on the Digibyte Core 6.17.3. So what is dandelion? Josiah Spackman tweeted out this tweet. He provided a link to the Medium article that he wrote that goes into detail on what Dandelion is and how it all works. This is that article. I'll provide a link to it in the description so you can read through it yourself. The basic, in a nutshell, I guess, description of what Dandelion is is right here in the first paragraph. Dandelion helps to protect your physical privacy by making it significantly harder to identify where your transaction came from. Basically, Dandelion hides your IP address from the transaction so a hacker can't uh, steal your IP address and then track down your, your actual location and find you in the physical world. And that's definitely good for the user privacy. Certainly, people that are invested early or, I guess, early adopters will likely have more cryptocurrency than other people do when, I guess, mass adoption does start to take place. And you wouldn't want someone to have your IP address come find you in the real world and steal your private keys that you've had hidden away or even harm you or your family to get access to your cryptocurrency. So it goes on to say that Dandelion does not make your transaction private in the same way as Monero or Zcash. So it's not technically a privacy coin in that sense, but it is a major step towards taking as he pointed out here, a major step forward, um, protecting the privacy and security of the users, again, by protecting your physical location in the real world. There were also some concerns where people were saying, uh, will this affect the 15 second block timing? Will it slow down the transactions? So he, he did provide the answer to that. Uh, as far as block timing, no, the blocks will stay at 15 seconds. Uh, but he provided a scenario here, and in this scenario, presuming that the blocks are still found precisely at 15 seconds, you would reach the six confirmations needed, uh, being six blocks created after 92 seconds without Dandelion. But with Dandelion, it would be 107 seconds. So the transaction time is a little bit longer. I guess the six confirmations needed does take a few seconds longer, but the trade-off is well worth it, in my opinion. Uh, protecting your physical location from a hacker is more important than getting a transaction 12 seconds faster, you know. And definitely, especially since Digibyte is doing 560 transactions per second right now, and even later this year, that will double to 1,120 transactions per second. And then, it, again, that doubles every two years so uh, the I guess wait time for the transaction to be confirmed is going to get smaller and smaller as time goes on and I think dandelion is just going to be a benefit for the users of the digibyte blockchain and it's definitely like I already said a step toward being or not toward being a privacy coin but a step toward privacy for the users and it's really just another notch or another utility of digibyte becoming like the Swiss Army knife. Certainly with its five mining algorithms, its 15 second block times, and its real time difficulty adjustment, it's definitely a better version of Bitcoin, uh, talking technical technically speaking, you know, and with when Digi Assets is released and you can create ICOs, STOs, um, all the all the different ways you could use digi assets is definitely going to be a better version of ethereum ethereum is definitely a pioneer for its day but with its 25 transactions per second it just simply can't it can't be used at scale uh, you, I mean, you can make fun games to play on it, yeah, but it, there, there will never be anything like Block 30 Labs being built on Ethereum just because it can't handle the volume. Uh, certainly uh, not at this time. They, I mean, they've been working on solutions to that. Uh, I won't go too much into detail. But talking in other ways or other, uh, I guess, tools on the Swiss Army knife of the Digibyte blockchain, uh, is DigiID. It was the other day I reported that Anthem ID created the Google Chrome uh, extension where you can log into any website using DigiID. Uh, this is now live on Firefox, so you can download it for Firefox as well and use DigiID to log into every website that has not already integrated DigiID or Anthem ID, such as Facebook, Twitter, uh, Netflix, really any account. Um, 
and now that it's on Firefox, uh, this, this uh, extension will work with Google Chrome, it'll work with the Brave browser, and it again, works with Firefox, and it works with Internet Explorer. And with Firefox, it actually works on the Android mobile version. I've actually downloaded uh, Firefox on my mobile phone and this extension, and it's really awesome to use and, and work. And it creates a very secure password. It's super long. Uh, capital letters, lowercase letters, random characters in there. I mean, you could just see this example password. That was uh, a really long password. And um, the login process with it is much faster and much streamlined than, uh, like, I could log in using uh, this extension faster than I could type out a password of that length. Uh, another tool in the Swiss Army knife of Digibyte is Digi Assets that I've already kind of hinted at earlier when I was talking about Block 30 Labs. And Block 30 Labs is actually using Digi Assets uh, for their blocks currency. And I actually noticed when I pulled up Block 30 Labs for this video that they've updated their website and it's looking very cool right now. They actually got a sneak peek of the Block 30 marketplace. Uh, so this is everywhere you could go to purchase goods. You know, you could buy a house. Uh, search for rentals, commercial buildings, hospitality, uh, buy concert tickets, the Bruno Mars concert ticket. Uh, you could invest in the Argentinian coffee farm. Uh, I don't think all of these are live at the moment. It's just kind of an example of what this marketplace is going to offer, and it's definitely going to be a big deal in the future. They also have a sneak peek at the mobile application for the Block 5 index. I think it's a little bit further down. Uh, this is an example of like if you were to buy this bicycle uh, in the marketplace, that bike's going for $2,500. You could pay for it with MasterCard, Bank of America, or PayPal and pay that $2,500. Or you could use the Blocks currency and pay $2,100 uh, simply by saving money on the transaction fees. It's definitely a benefit to use cryptocurrency as opposed to the legacy systems. Uh, so this is the sneak peek of the mobile uh, wallet in their Block 5 index. You can see the percentage of the holdings and you can see it's, uh, as the example, up 17.2% year to date. Uh, so Block 30 Labs is going to be a big deal. And the fact that they're leveraging the Digibyte blockchain is going to be a big deal for Digibyte. As you can see, I think down here. Yeah, the Blocks currency powered by Digibyte. So uh, Digi Assets is coming very soon too. I expect, uh, you know, there's that meetup coming in April. It's just a few weeks away and uh, I just got a good feeling. Hopefully, I, I don't have any information, but you know, it'd be cool to uh, see Digi Assets going live sometime around that conference or at least get some uh, more details on when it might be going live. So that wraps up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to get notifications. Like it, share it, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys later.